Hi, today we'll look at the ad hoc reporting feature in IBM Tiffly Monitoring 6.2.2 Fixed Pack 2. This ad hoc reporting feature is part of Tiffly Common Reporting for Asset Performance Management 1.3. Ad hoc reporting allows you to create reports without having the details of the underlying database or advanced knowledge of SQL. I've already went ahead and imported the ITMOS agent reports. I'll go ahead and navigate into the package. From there, I'll launch Query Studio in context. Query Studio is the ad hoc reporting tool. I'll minimize this left side to give us a little more real estate. On the left hand side is the data model. This is the data surfaced through the reporting package for ITMOS agents. And this is the data you'll select in order to create your report. We'll create a memory report on Windows servers. So first, we'll go find our memory metric. We'll use the daily summarization values, open up memory, scroll down, we'll drag the average memory usage percent, TCR summarized all the values in the daily table for memory since that's the only thing we have on the canvas. You'll see as we drag more items onto the canvas it'll roll it up for those items. Next, we'll drag in the system name. For this, we'll look under the ITM Shared Dimensions, Manage System, System Name. You can see the memory is now rolled up by system. Next, we'll open up the TCR Shared Dimensions. Under there, you'll see a time dimension. We'll grab the date, drag it over, and now you can see the memory rolled up by system per day. We'll create sections per system. So we'll click on the system name, click on the sections icon, and now each system has its own section of data. To make this easier to read, we'll add a chart. Click on the charting icon, we'll select line, OK. We've now created a chart per system of memory usage over time. If we wanted to, we could further filter this. For example, we could create a filter on date and only select certain date ranges. Or we could select the system name and create a filter on that. Only show select servers. As you can see, the data is paged. Page down to get the more data. We'll go ahead and set a title, just double click. And that's how you use the ad hoc reporting feature. For those that want to stick around, I have a bonus. We will parameterize this report so when you run it you select the server name and only see the memory for that server. So for this we'll save the report. We'll open it up in Report Studio which is a more advanced editor still web based. Let's go home. Here's our report that we just saved. We'll open that in Report Studio. Click on the prompt page. We don't have a prompt yet. We're going to make one. Let's create a new page. Open it up. We'll drag over a value prompt. This is where we want to prompt for the server name. Here's where we'll associate it to that server name. Pick the system name. And finish. Now, we'll run the report, and here we have the selection list. We'll pick our server, and now we have the memory for just that server. This concludes the demo. Thank you.